apples. Sweet, crisp, delicious, and above all, completely harmless pieces of fruit. But unfortunately for the people vacationing on Haven Island, they are also the leading cause of deaths by drowning. What the fuck? Hey, no! Don't go throwing that shit! Are you okay? Oh. Yeah, command. I'm at the scene. Moving the bodies out now. Over. You will pay for this, asshole. You can't just knock people out like that. Is that so, big fella? What happened, mate? Oh, what a mess. This is an awful accident. Oh. Oh no, not again! God damn those apples! Stop! No! Not you too, Jonathan! Oh my god, boys! Are you okay? Come in! Anybody there? Come in! Looks like we got a serious accident on our hands. Oh, that is just typical. See, ladies and gents? Apples. You can't trust them. <sighs> G'day, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Maldives. Today we find ourselves at a sunny tropical paradise known as Haven Island. We're here to eliminate the three owners of this resort, Tyson Williams, Ludmilla Vitrova, and Stephen Bradley. With three targets to take down, we've clearly got our work cut out for us. So, ugh, enough relaxing, let's get stuck into business, shall we? The first thing we want to do is gain access to our private suite, which we'll do by breaking into the side door using the lockpick. Ta-da! Alternatively, we could have checked in at the reception area under our usual alias of Tobias Reaper and the nice lady behind the counter would have just given us the key. But, you know, fuck that. Now that we're inside our suite, we'll head into the bedroom and take notice of the note that's sitting on the bed. The note reads, call this number. It's signed with X and of course a phone number has been written down. It has been left by none other than Ludmilla Vitrova, one of our three targets. She wants us to do her a favour, so let's give her a buzz and find out what it is. Miss Vitrova, it's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival, and I found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. Oof. Sounds like she's DTF. Let's get to the restaurant, shall we? Okay. So here we are at the restaurant, awaiting Miss Vitrova to grace us with her presence. Interestingly, there's actually a couple of ways in which we can eliminate Miss Vitrova in this very restaurant. So while we're standing around doing sweet fuck all, let's take a look. Just up the steps from where we were standing is a kitchen. And within that kitchen are two chefs. We're going to need to remove one of these chefs from the equation, which we'll do by jogging around to this side window, climbing inside, grabbing the soda can from the counter, and then starting up this ice machine, which will lure one of the chefs inside. Oh, sorry, mate. I didn't mean to snap your vertebrae like that. Here, just take a nap in here for a while. You'll wake up good as new, I promise. Oh, and by the way, I'm taking your uniform for a little while. Don't worry. You can have it back. Okay, let's head into the kitchen. It's here that Miss Vitrova likes to wander from time to time to sample some of the resort's finest cuisine. Chef Rampart, I'm looking forward to seeing the new dish. Is it ready yet? 
Please don't tell me you're trying to put ants back on the menu. Nobody liked the ants. And we can take full advantage of this in a couple of different ways. Method number one. Plate this up for Miss Vitrova, will you make it special? Sure thing, mate. I'll make her something that's to die for. And I'll tell you what, I'll even sprinkle in a few ants as a garnish. Hopefully it doesn't bug her too much. Oh my word. Chef. Oh God. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Method number two. This method starts off the same as the previous one, except this time around, after preparing Miss Vitrova's dish, we'll use a wrench to start a gas leak on the nearby stove. Now that our trap's been set, we can... What? Oh, what the fuck? What the bloody hell are you doing in here? How the fuck could you have noticed that gas leak and what business have you got checking it out? Are you maintenance? Shirtless maintenance? I don't think so. Oh my god. What's that rancid smell? Maybe next time you'll stick to what you know, mate. Fuck all. Okay, so this time around, we'll wait for Miss Vitrova to actually enter the kitchen and then start a gas leak. Excuse me? You're excused. This is very... Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. And there you have it, ladies and gents. Two alternative ways of dealing with Miss Vitrova. You can thank me later. For now, we've got business to attend to. So let's get back to it. Mr. Reaper, so good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too, Miss Vitrova. If you uh, know what I mean. I suppose you've heard that I'm hung like a silver bowler. Now, what is it that I can do for you? We've had an incident. A theft. Ah, oh, a theft? Well, I totally misread that situation. Okay, so yeah, she carries on about some USB drive that was stolen by someone working in Mr. Williams' private villa, like we give a shit. She would like for us to discreetly retrieve it for her in exchange for a 50% discount on the cosmetic surgery that we won't be having because our alias is bullshit. Blah, blah, blah. We all know that she just wants a peek at 47's voluptuous. So it appears that before we eliminate Miss Vitrova, we're going to have to discreetly acquire this USB drive for her. Eh, so be it. We'll consider it her dying wish. And seeing as though it's located in the vicinity of Tyson Williams' private villa, we should be able to assassinate him in the process. So everything should work out pretty well. With all that being said, our next move is to head to Mr. Williams' private villa on the northern side of the island. So let's go ahead and do just that. Seeing as though it's a restricted area, rather than cruise on in through the front gate, we'll jog along the beach on the western side and then discreetly infiltrate the estate by climbing over the wall. Now that we're inside, the next thing we need to do is grab ourselves a disguise. And I reckon that that bloke right there is a prime candidate. But before we do anything, we'll quickly disable the nearby security camera to avoid detection mark. Come in. Heard something weird. I'm gonna go check it out. Command, nothing suspicious. Everything clear. Yep, nothing suspicious about a security camera that just spontaneously destroys itself. Nothing suspicious at all. Let's see if this gets your attention. Jeez. Man, I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving in to investigate. Oh, okay. So a security camera just randomly blows up and he doesn't bat an eyelash, but as soon as he hears a fucking coin drop in the bushes, he immediately springs into action. Makes sense to me. Anyone there? Yeah, there was, mate, but you don't worry about that. You just focus on relaxing in those bushes. No one's going to find you there, so you've got plenty of time to just lay there and chill. Oh, for fuck's sake. What are you doing, mate? 
Okay, there's a naked male here. Uh, very- we got You bloody nosy cunt! Oh yeah. Right, so now that we've taken this guy down a bit more discreetly, we'll drag him a little deeper into the garden and then relieve him of his uniform once again. This particular disguise will provide us with unfettered access to pretty much the entirety of the island. You beauty! Now that we're all geared up and good to go, we'll casually make our way upstairs to the second story of the villa. We will get recorded by that security camera, but we needn't worry about that as we're going to be deleting the evidence a little later on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves in Mr. Williams' private bathroom, complete with his own personal hot tub. Apparently, good old Tyson is just dying to take a bath, but unfortunately for him, his jacuzzi is currently out of service. And this nice, young, completely innocent technician is attempting to repair it for him. Please, allow me. See? Good as new. Now, all that we need to do is wait for Mr. Williams to arrive. And I tell you what, while we're waiting, let's take a quick look at an alternative pathway that we could have taken to bring about Mr. Williams' untimely death. So it turns out that Tyson is in pretty poor health. And so, he has enlisted the help of a doctor that is also currently staying on the island. Naturally, we're going to be using this intel to our advantage. The doctor's villa just so happens to be right beside ours, and therefore it can be accessed right from the beginning of the mission. My first idea was to discreetly infiltrate the villa via the bathroom door to the south before removing the safety pin from the trap door directly in front of the bathroom sink. Ah, oh, God, this bath is disgusting. I'm gonna make a complaint! But seeing as though we're playing on master difficulty, as you can see, Utilising this method ruined the disguise. So we're going to have to come up with another way of gaining said disguise. After breaking into the doctor's villa via the rear bathroom door, we'll wait for the doctor and his personal maid to go outside to the deck and then place a remote emetic gas device on the left hand side of the bedroom doorway. We will then hide behind the living room couch, wait for the pair to re-enter the villa, and then detonate our little welcoming gift. Oh? Yeah, I feel horrible. Excuse me? He said he feels horrible, you ignorant bitch. Oh, g'day guys! <laughs> this is a nice golf club, mate. <laughs> and just like that, we're Tyson Williams' doctor. So let's head to the villa to give him a checkup, shall we? G'day, mate. I'm the doctor. I'm here to take a look at Mr. Williams' pupper. Yes, well, I guessed as much. Follow me to Mr. Williams' room, please. And don't touch anything. We're cleaning the house today. No worries, mate. You just lead the way. The only thing I'll be touching today is your boss's clacker. Please wait here, doctor. I'm sure Mr. Williams will be along shortly. Thanks, mate! What the hell? Now we'll just stick him into the nearby closet and, uh... <clears throat> Method number three! Wait, you're not Dr. Singh. Who the hell are you? G'day, you fat, unhealthy fuck. I know I'm not Dr. Singh, but unless you've got a problem with bald doctors, let's get this over with. So, Mr. Williams. You think you've got the virus. Turn around for me, please, mate. <coughs> oh, hell. Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? Please. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Method number four. If we didn't want to strangle Mr. Williams with our death escape, we could have instead poisoned his medicine and then instructed him to take it. 
You're not taking your medicine. The pills give me headaches. I have important work to do. Fuck your important work. Just take the medicine, cunt. Fine. At this point, even death would be a relief. It's funny you should say that. There. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Thank you very much. Two now let's get back to the hot tub. Now that Mr. Williams' jacuzzi is fully operational, he'll eventually make his way back to the bathroom, ask his personal bodyguard to give him some privacy, and then settle in for a nice, relaxing bath. Let's kill him! Method number five. Ah, uh, this is perfect. I can't remember the last time that I was so completely relaxed. Two targets yeah. remain. Method number six. Ah, uh, finally. This is going to be the best bath of life. <laughs> Two targets remain. Method number seven. Ah, uh, I definitely needed this. There's nothing quite like the warm, soothing feeling of taking a relaxing. <laughs> Two targets remain. Method number eight, Mom. Uh, this is. <laughs> Two targets remain. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Method number nine. Splish splash, I was taking the <laughs> <laughs> Bath time's over, cunt. 